Welcome Wolfpack to episode number three of our Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 career mode using On Air Airline Manager. We will start this episode with a night flight from JFK back to our home base at Orange County Airport, so we are in position for the flights tomorrow. We had a really good day in the New York area in episode number two, which I also recorded earlier today, but as I mentioned in episode two, the $28,000 mission must be completed. If you want to start this series from the beginning, there is a link in the description and the pinned comment down below, or you can click on the card at the end of this episode. All right, we are going to check out our pilot. Uh, the pilot is sitting over idling at Stanton, NY35, and uh, we need to get her back to uh, KMGJ, uh, Montgomery, our home base. We're going to check out and see if there's any uh, jobs that she can accomplish on the way back to make a little bit of money on the way. So let's uh, check out the logistics center. So we will take both of these Danbury jobs right here. So let's head to the flight operations map. We are going to prepare her next flight. And we will uh, load up both of those and fly these two jobs down to Danbury. We have a quarter tank of fuel, but there's not enough uh, fuel left over here to uh, fill up any uh, much more than what we have. We have plenty of, uh, plenty of fuel to get down there. So. And as soon as the apron work is finished, we will let her go to the flight tracking page and we will let her go do her thing. Gonna go ahead and speed up time here and uh, let the ramp agents do their thing here so we're not wasting too much time and uh, as soon as we're good to go we will send her off on our way now uh, once she gets to Danbury we will have her pick up this uh, 570 pint five pound load and uh, we will have her take it to MGJ Montgomery our home base and uh, hopefully both planes will be at our uh, MGJ base tonight so she is at her cruising altitude of 6,000 feet, and uh, she is 26 minutes out from Danbury. That being said, let's get our aircraft into position for tomorrow morning, as tomorrow will be just as busy. This is our GPS flight plan that we will be flying from JFK and up to Orange County, and we will be completing one leg of our Level 2 mission uh, local jobs. Uh, we will be completing one of those on the way back. We will bring 308 pounds of cargo back to KMG. And so let's jump in and prepare our flight. We are going to need some fuel. So let's see who's got the cheapest fuel here, like Reed Kennedy International FBO. We'll go ahead and take a half tank of fuel with us, and then we will go ahead and load the 308 pounds of cargo onto the plane and confirm and now. So as I said before, we do have a pilot in our Cessna Grand Caravan sitting over at Danbury, where she uh, just flew after she picked up the uh, flight up in Stanton. So we are going to have her. There is no fuel at Danbury Municipal Airport, unfortunately. So we only have 52 gallons of fuel. That's 16%. That's a lot lower than what I want. We are also, we're only about 39 miles away. So we should be good. All right, so let's jump into our cockpit and uh, we will get that plane fired up and I will see you on the runway when we get ready to take off. Kennedy Tower, Nate Wolf, 0049 -er at runway G1, left ready for takeoff departure to the north. Nate Wolf, 0049er, cleared for takeoff runway 31 left departure to the north approved. All right, just got clear for takeoff runway. Cleared for runway. takeoff runway 31 left, Nate Wolf, 0049er. Guess I'll let him say it. It was actually me anyway. time log. Right. Huge fight here with the controls once again, and I'm not really sure why this is like that. I don't know if it's a trim setting that's an issue or what, but my nose wants to go straight in the air on a, a few different flights here, and it's happened a couple of times. I don't know if it's not, uh, when I'm doing the automatic checks. But either way, we're off the ground. Continue for 
right, we're on our way to our cruising altitude. We're just passing 5,000 feet. We're above the, uh, just a little bit east of the Hudson River, flying over uh, northern New Jersey, maybe getting ready to cross back into New York here in a few more seconds. Before I forget, if this is your first time on the channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and set your notifications to all. And while you're down there, hit that like button as well. Remember, I'm not a pilot. If you are a pilot or you're knowledgeable in the field and you have answers to any questions or anything that I'm doing in the videos or you have any constructive criticism, please timestamp this video and comment down below and by all means, share what you know for the community. All right, here we are coming in for our uh, final approach. It's been a rough night flight. Uh, a lot of autopilot issues and a uh, whole bunch of airspeed issues once again. Not sure what I'm fighting again, but trying to make it work. Landing time log. Landed at Kilo Mike Golf Julian. Actually, completely, completely amazing that we made that. Much as I was fighting uh, the autopilot and uh, or some sort, of, I, I'm really uh, at a loss for words of what. Uh, I'm really at a loss for what um, what we're fighting here when my nose goes in the air like that. I was uh, battling a constant stall the entire time. The good news is, is we made it to Orange County Airport for tomorrow's flights, and both of our aircraft are here and our pilots here, so we will set everything up in the morning and get going. Engine off time logged. End of flight. Registered in on-air company. All right, well, we did... Uh get back to Montgomery but it was not pretty we uh, fought airspeed problems the entire way and I don't know why and our reputation took a huge hit for it uh, somehow we got a safety bonus I'm not really quite sure how that worked and somehow we landed at night uh, crazy wear and tear uh, because of our uh, g-force and a whole bunch of other stuff so uh, not good on that nonetheless we had a great day today uh, all on 914 we uh, had a ton of jobs that we uh, we have taken and uh, we've gotten paid for and we have both of our planes, the Cessna 172 Skyhawk and the rented Cessna 208B Grand Caravan. And both of our pilots are at our home base and ready to rock and roll in the morning. So when we get going in the morning, I will be flying down to Morristown with the 860 pounds of cargo that needs to go down there. As you can see, the AI cannot fly that leg of the trip. So I might have to make that trip twice in the uh, 172 because I don't think I could fit 860 pounds on there. We will definitely see. We'll have to be stripped down fuel and all to try to make that flight. In the span of a couple of hours tomorrow, I hope to pull in about thirty to forty thousand dollars. Good morning, Wolfpack. It is Wednesday morning, and we are ready for today's flights to finish our first big job of our airline. Uh, we have our Cessna that is prepping right now, and uh, our Grand Caravan is also here, although I can't find it right now. Uh, setting up those flights in the next couple of minutes and getting underway. We have six hours to complete the $28,000 job, so let's get on it. All right, let's go ahead and prepare this next flight. I did already fuel up the uh, Caravan a little bit. Uh, it's got a 350 mile, an hour, uh, mile range, nautical mile range right now. Uh, I did pick up another uh, job to make it a little bit more lucrative for the uh, caravan, Grand Caravan to go down there. So uh, we do have this loaded up. As soon as she wakes up in about four or five hours and comes back on duty, then we will uh, go ahead and send her down to White Plains. So our mission is 860 pounds, has to go down to KMMU, Morristown, New Jersey. Uh, the problem is, is that's too much for our payload of our aircraft, so we're going to have to split this up. 
So uh, we are going to have to go ahead and drop this down. I might as well only take about half of what it is. So that's about 430 pounds, and that's going to get us uh, get down to Morristown. We're going to have to make two trips here uh, to get down there. So, we so one thing I'm going to try today to figure out why my nose is being stuck in, straight up in the air, and this would actually make sense. Uh, I did not realize that you could actually distribute the weight across your aircraft uh, across the passenger compartments and cargo compartments. So we're going to try to evenly distribute this weight and see if it changes anything while we're flying. Uh, I had a big problem with this in the last couple of flights, um, and it seemed to be just sporadically, but definitely when the weight was a little higher, so it had something to do with that. I thought it was an autopilot thing, but I think it is uh, just the the uh, weight and balance of the aircraft. So we've distributed this. Uh, we're just shy of our gross weight here. So we're going to go ahead and fly it. Okay, MMU is our destination, and uh, we are good to go. All right, so here's our quick flight plan. Uh, it's going to be a VFR flight plan down from uh, Orange County down to Morristown. Uh, we're just going to... Uh, we got a little bit of wind down here in uh, Morristown, so this ought to be interesting. That's definitely as high... Uh, the highest winds I've ever landed in, so we'll uh, check it out. Uh, have good flying conditions. Our cruising altitude is going to be about 6,000 feet. I will set that uh, right there and uh, we should be good to go. All right, let's fire this thing up and uh, we will bring it back when we get going. All right, we're off. Let's uh, see how it works. Hopefully the uh, weight and balance will uh, be better. Not sure if it will or not, but we'll see. Otherwise, we'll go back to the drawing board. Seems to be a little bit better so far. Lights off. Oh my god. Well, I start. I forgot to track uh, in the on air thing. So, uh, in the on air uh, program, I forgot to track the flight or hit the tracking button flight. So, we're definitely not going to get our bonus today. All right, we're at 6,000 feet cruising altitude and we are on our first flight down to KMMU or Morristown, New Jersey. And we are in the process of taking our load of cargo down and uh, we will. Hopefully find a job down there to take cargo back up to KMGJ so we are not making a one-way trip. It's a lot easier to control when you have the weight and balance squared away. Controlling our airspeed here. Landing time logged. Landed at Kilo Mike Mike Uniform, Morristown, Munich. All right, we're down in Morristown. First of two trips today.
So as you can see, uh, there are several jobs to go up to uh, Montgomery, both of which are going to, all three of which are going to require us to uh, split the load, and we do have to come back here anyway. So that's uh, not a bad thing. We can make money both trips. I'm going to have to do some calculations. I'll, we'll be right back, and we'll see which one of these we can take uh, and uh, how much money we can make out of this uh, return trip. Go ahead and auto balance this. And uh, we have uh, 175, so we've got 300 in the passenger compartment and then 150 in the cargo area. And we are still uh, a little bit underneath our gross weight, so we're good. All right, so here is our flight plan returning from Morristown uh, to Orange County. And we have our ramp order is all finished. Cargo's okay, passenger's okay. We have 475 pounds on. Let's go to our flight tracking page, and we're going to start tracking immediately. Oh, I do not forget it. All right, let's get this thing fired up. I'll contact you when we get out to the runway and ready for takeoff. All right, we're out of here. We're rolling start here. altitude of 6,000 feet and we're heading back to Orange County Airport and uh, I think that I've finally figured out that weight and balance thing after a couple of test flights now and uh, I think we're I think we're good to go uh, the landing went impeccably at um, when we came down to Morristown the first time we're taking uh, this load of 400 pounds back to Orange County as well and then we have to turn around and do it all again uh, so we have uh, another flight exactly another circuit exactly what we just did so uh, again, if you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and set your notifications to all. And if you're enjoying the content, please don't forget to hit that like button as well. All right, we're going to get ready to turn on our uh, final here in a second. Just a little overshot there, but that's all right. We're gonna get it back here. Landing time log. Landed at Kilo Mike Golf Juliet, Orange Co. All right, that was an inadvertent attempt at my uh, first. I believe that was my first pattern landing. All right, so since I was not anticipating uh, Diana sleeping all day today, um, I was. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and take the 85 pounds of cargo off of the uh, caravan that she was going to take down there, because she's not going to be awake before that deadline passes. 
So again, here's our flight plan, Orange County to Morristown, uh, pretty much the same path as last time. And then after we get here, we're going to drop off our cargo, the 400 and some pounds, uh, depending on how it is working out. We may take the 400 pounds to finish the job that we have already started down there to come back to Orange County, but we are definitely going to head over to White Plains first, and hopefully we have three hours. We are really tight on this deadline right now, uh, so we're going to uh, hopefully do a quick turn there and then uh, drop off that cargo uh, by the deadline. That's the goal for mission number three. time log. Landing time log. Landed at Kilo Mike Mike Uniform, Morristown, Munich. Alright, we're down in Morristown for the last trip down here of two. So we are going to taxi over here. We are going to empty out our uh, the 430 pounds of printed magazines that we're dropping here. And we have to keep uh, 85 pounds of printed magazines uh, and we are going to try to get over to White Plains before that deadline, which is coming. We are two hours and 15 minutes away from the deadline right now, so we can get it. We can definitely get it. We just got to uh, get moving. We're going to have the printed magazines that are already on board going to, uh, going to HPN or White Plains, and then we're going to take these with us, and uh, we will eventually find ourselves back at Orange County Airport, and then we will get the job completion for that as well. So our quick flight plan is just across the Hudson River. Uh, we're leaving Morristown, we're headed over, crossing the Hudson River and landing at White Plains. All right, so we're on our way over to White Plains. We are at a uh, 3,000 foot cruise altitude. We have a lot of air traffic all over the place, just like New York City does. Uh, New York City is down there to the south. That is the George Washington Bridge that you can see there and the Hudson River. We're flying over the Palisades Parkway here very soon. That area right over there is the Bronx, and then we will fly right over Yonkers right here. So we're going to start our descent and uh, bring it back in when we get into the pattern. All right, we just crossed over the Hudson River, and we are flying over Yonkers right now. There's the reservoir in the Bronx right there. Oh, I'm sorry, that's the reservoir right by Yonkers Raceway, which is right there. And we just got an alert that our fuel has been delivered at Orange County. We've had a should have a thousand gallons of jet fuel and a thousand gallons of uh, aviation fuel. All right, we're turning on to final at HPN, and uh, be on the ground here in a few minutes. We're still a little high, I think, but uh, should be all right. All right, here we are at White Plains Airport. Landing time log. Landed at Kilo Hotel, Papa November, Westchester County. All right, so we're here. Let's go ahead and shut down the engines, and we'll get paid for this $27,000, $28,000 job that we've been talking about all episode and part of last episode, and we, uh, we uh, completed it. by Not by much, but we did complete it.
for completed jobs. We did get it in on time. We are good to go. We got $27,900. Uh, not a moment to spare. I think we were less than an hour from the deadline there. So, And we still have the rest of our cargo that's loaded onto our aircraft right now as we fly back to Orange County. That will be the last flight of this episode, flying back to Orange County Airport uh, for another $9,200 uh, to finish out the day. Uh, around that time is when uh, Diana should be waking up. All right, we're back in the uh, live operations map. We are going to go ahead and set up Diana. She has finally uh, woken up from her nap. She's back on duty, and we are going to go ahead and set up a uh, round-trip flight for her and get her uh, squared away for uh, between episodes here. So we, have, uh, we did pick up another job of printed magazines that are going down to HPN. So we're going to have her get loaded with the uh, two jobs of printed magazines and one food crates going down to HPN. Ramp agents are going to take another minute to load up, and uh, we should be good to go. But we'll get uh, all of the, these three jobs down there and uh, make some money as well. So let's set the, set the destination. Uh, she is going to fly it, and we will go ahead and launch the flight when ready. So while we're in here, let's go ahead and see about our flight. We are all set to go. We will confirm and fly now. So while we wait, we're going to take off, make a 180 degree, most likely a left turn, uh, fly up here, uh, come around Stewart Air Base, which is right in here, and then come in for a landing at Orange County. So around the time we land up here, she'll be getting down here, and uh, she'll finish up those three jobs, and then we will see if she has anything else that she can do, or if she'll just come back to Orange County Airport and be in position for episode number four. Not really sure what this guy's doing here. He's stuck there, but... Interesting. Airborne time log. Flaps up. We gotta make a 180 degree turn and head back uh, to the north. Alright, we're up at our cruise altitude. Uh, we got the Hudson River off to our left and we're heading towards Orange County. I just got the notifications in that uh, Diane has uh, landed at HPN, and we just got paid for at least two jobs. Uh, I'm not sure if the third one had a different leg on it, and it must have been it. So, uh, but, we, uh, but she is making us some money, and as soon as we land, we will set her up to uh, get into position to either... I haven't decided if we're going to have her come back to Orange County tonight or to uh, complete some of our, our level two missions. I, ha I haven't decided on that, and I will let you know when we bring... Uh, when we land and uh, take a look at the logistics center. All right, 16 miles outside of Orange County Airport in a beautiful night in New York. Get rid of some airspeed here because we cannot, uh, having a hard time descending, but we will. Got, uh, looks like Newburgh is over on the other side of the Hudson River right over there. And we have Beacon on this side of the Hudson River right here. That's the Newburgh Beacon Bridge looking right out that window right there. Newburgh Beacon Bridge again and uh, route uh, I-84 running right through Newburgh. Stewart Air Base is right over there. I live right along the river just south right over there. All right. Finally found the runway. That was a real pain in the butt to try to find in the uh, in the sun there. Alright, we made it. 
Let's taxi over to the parking area, and we will see you guys in the dashboard for the episode wrap-up. So as you can see, over the last couple of days, we have knocked out a lot. Episode 2 was everything on uh, 914, and uh, with the exception of this last flight, which was uh, is going to be episode 3, which is this flight. A um, lot, uh, lot of income and a lot of flights flown. And see here all of our income and expenditures. The $4,000, $4,600 job finished there, and the $28,000 job finished there. $6,800 finished there, $6,100 and $9,200 all uh, finished jobs. And we also have a major job that is on the brink of being completed. All we have to do is fly a very quick trip, about 100 pounds of cargo of electronic devices over to SWF. I honestly would just drive this in a car. It would take about 15 minutes, but uh, whatever. They're going to pay us for it, so that's fine. $15,000. We have plenty of time to do it, so that's good. All right, so we're going to send her up to Hudson Valley Regional. She's going to go ahead and take uh, the equipment pallets from White Plains, and she's going to fly them up to uh, Hudson Valley Regional, where then she will, uh, we will see what jobs we have for her up there. And at the very minimum, she'll be taking one passenger to uh, Orange County Airport uh, to the home base to uh, fulfill at least one leg of our uh, Level 2 mission. All right, she's there. Let's get her back with the cargo that she has and the passenger that we need for that level two job back to uh, Montgomery for the night. So we are going to take all of this cargo over to Orange County and use it as a hub, and then we will uh, distribute right. run over SWF uh, Stewart, which is uh, like eight miles away. I'll uh, be able to fly this and that other mission over to Stewart uh, in one of these upcoming episodes. We're going to go ahead and launch the flight when it's ready. It's got about two minutes to load up the cargo and they will, she will be heading back to Montgomery for the, uh, for the night. We can park the aircraft. I'm um, actually, I do see where I can make her go on a, um, go on rest. I did uh, check that out and you can make her go on rest if, because right now she'd be flying overnight and I, I don't need that at all. So that's what happened last night which caused a excessively long episode today because we had a lot more flying to do, at least an extra leg, if not more. All right, so Diane just finished her short shift. She went from Orange County down to HPN, then up to uh, Hudson Valley Regional, and then back to Orange County and uh, home for the night. So I am going to put her off duty uh, for the night. That way she sleeps through the night and is ready to go. If you're just finding us, consider joining the Wolfpack Gaming community by subscribing to the channel and setting your notifications to all. If you do that, welcome to the Wolfpack. This entire Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 Wolfpack Airlines playlist is popping up on your top left. Episode number four, when it drops, will show up on your bottom left. Another playlist that may interest you is showing up on your right, and if you also enjoy survival and military games, consider subscribing to my second channel showing up right now. There is all of that content and more, Post it in the links in the description and the pinned comments down below. Click any one of those links and we will see you over there.